Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and here we'll be in the technology side of things, talking about Android updates for security for October. So, of course, they have been released, the Android updates for security. Now, the big problem with that is that not all phones will get them now. Actually, if you have a Samsung phone like I do, you're probably going to get them next month, and this is unacceptable. Once again, I say it all the time. Updates for security should be installed as soon as they're released on every type of device on the Android side of things. Unfortunately, it's not like that. Now, the October uh, security updates for Android, of course, they are available if you have a Pixel phone. Uh, the Google phones always have the updates immediately. This is the way it should be, actually. So you guys will be safe, while most of other uh, people, including me, with the Samsung phone, will not for a little while. Contain 54 security fixes, but in there, there's five critical flaws. And, of course, what do you think is one of the zero days exploded in the wild that already can be exploded on phones? The famous WebP image format. It has been fixed in Windows. It has been fixed in apps and browsers. But it can also be open within Android, and there needs to be a fix for that. So, of course, one of the things for sure is that if you are navigating the web on your smartphone, a way to mitigate this is important. It's to update your browser within your phone. So if you use... Chrome, if whatever browser you use, go to the App Store. Make sure that you update all the apps. That mitigates partly the problem that you could have from these zero days. So uh, a lot of fixes, once again, for Android this month. And that means that, of course, there's going to be um, updates for um, Android 11 to 13. Uh, please note that if you have an Android 10 or earlier phone the uh, security updates aren't offered anymore uh, once again there is a way to mitigate this is to make sure that you update all the apps through the app store so that at least the browsers and the apps you use have their own way of at least blocking partly the uh, security flaws but still uh, something that is uh, sad on android um, and you know, it's not a problem on iPhones or iPads because everything gets updated all the time. And the only real Android phones that get updated immediately are pretty much the Pixel phones. So uh, these are actually great for that reason. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and don't forget to update and check your security updates on your Android devices regularly.